Hi everyone! In today's video, I'll show you how to do this crochet vest. That it, it is pretty beginner friendly, and it is made to measure. So I hope you will enjoy making it. If you do, please hit subscribe and like this video. And let's get on to it. So to make this vest, you will need chunky yarn. I have the Women's Institute one in 100 grams and i will be using four balls and i made a size s to medium i would say so if you're making bigger one you might need five or six balls of 100 grams yarn then you will need six millimeter hook needle and scissors if it helps i'll try to leave exact uh, number of balls you might need for your chosen size but yeah i will give all the instructions on how to alter your west to made to measure so to start off you want to grab your yarn make a slip knot and chain 11. this is gonna be the length of our ribbing and we will start with the ribbing on the bottom end work our way up so once you've got 11 chains you want to make a single crochet in the next so skip this one and go straight into the second one with a single crochet and you want to make a single crochet in every single chain till the end which will leave you with 10 single crochets for this row And I just have one more left, so I'm going to do that. And this is how your first row will look like. Then you want to chain one and turn your work. From now on, we will be doing single crochet in the back loop only. So here you can see those two loops we normally would go with our stitch. Now we want to go into this back one only. So the one facing you is the front loop and this one is the back so you go into the back one only and keep doing those single crochets and a back loop and you will have 10 single crochets for each row of your ribbing That's my last stitch. I'm gonna chain one, turn my work, and I will continue making those single crochets in a back loop only until I'm happy with the length of my ripping. So I'll do that and I'll meet you at the end. So I've now finished my ribbing. I have 14 rows in total and you want your ribbing to be for one side only. So we are now making front piece of our vest so basically this one ribbing panel needs to fit half of your waist so this is how 14 rows looks like and if you're struggling to count them basically each of that is two rows so that's one row and then this is the second one same for this one and two but yeah once you're happy with your ribbing where you finished off, I have chained one and you want to chain second one because we will be doing double crochets. So straight into this corner, just because we don't have stitches here, we will be working along the side of them. But yeah, you want to yarn over, go into this very first space and make a double crochet. And then 
here where you see this one strand and then hole make a second one and just continue doing those uh, double crochets and you will have amount of stitches equal to your row count for your ribbing so if I have 40 rows I will have 40 double crochets for my first row and I would suggest to keep the row and stitch count even number but if you do have uneven that's fine as well so I'm just gonna continue making double crochets And then I'll meet you at the end. Don't worry if you're unsure where to place the stitch because it can be a bit difficult, but basically each row will have one stitch above. So you want to go there and there, and then it's the same here and here. So yeah, just try to have the same stitch number as you have for rows and I'll meet you at the end. So I've just finished my first row and I have 14 double crochets. At the end, you want to chain two and turn your work. You, if you want, you can count your double crochet as your first, I mean, uh, chain two, you can count that as a double crochet. I like to go into that same stitch, making a double crochet and not count the chain two as a stitch. But if you want to count that as a stitch, just skip the first one and go straight into the second one and then you will be doing the double crochets across same as for the first row and you want to repeat those rows until you're happy with the length for your vest from armpit armpits going down so you will make as many rows as you need to be the length from armpits and down. So what I will be making is 10 rows in total. This might be different if you making bigger or smaller size. But when you're done and you're happy with the length, it will be sitting right below your arms and where your ribbing ends. So yeah. and. Once you're done with those rows, I'll meet you then to show what to do next. And if that confused you, I have back panel here to show you. So basically that's the ribbing and this is my 10 rows here. So you want to continue your rows until you're happy with the length of this and this bit will be sitting under your armpit. So leave a bit of a allowance for when we do a ribbing. So it should be sitting, I would say three to five centimeters below your arm. So I've just done my 10 rows, which uh, might be different for you and you might have different row count, but once you're happy with the length, chain one at the end of your last row and you can cut your yarn off, pull it through, and turn your work now i'm gonna skip those four stitches if you're making bigger you might want to do five or six but yeah i would recommend going for from four to six six stitches i'm gonna do four and into the fifth i will join my yarn again and to start that off I will chain two and I will do double crochet into that same stitch and I will continue with double crochets until I have four stitches left or for you it's gonna be same number of stitches you have for this side so yeah just continue with double crochets and I will meet you at the end of this row. And once you finish your 
row as always you want to chain two then turn your work and I will continue making rows of those minus four stitches at both ending and beginning and I will do a total of nine rows to fit up to my neck so leaving a bit of allowance for color ribbing and yeah you should continue making rows until you're happy with the length so as always I'm starting in the first one because I don't count the chain as a stitch and then double crochet in each stitch and once you're done with your rows I've got nine here for this part don't finish off as we will be shaping shoulders so chain two and I will be doing double crochets in the next eight stitches that's what I will do for my shoulder if you want to measure yourself just put it against your shoulder and see how many stitches you need for that leaving a bit of an allowance here for your color for neck so yeah I'll do eight stitches in total starting with the first one And that's eight and then chain two and do another row Then chain one at the end and cut your yarn leaving a bit for sewing later. Then you want to pull your work right side up. Count same amount of stitches as you did for this shoulder. So that's eight for me hook and I will join my yarn to do the same on this side. So it's just basically two shoulders so yeah start with the chain and do the same amount of double crochets chain two and turn your work and repeat the same for a second row chain one and before finishing off leave a tail so we can sew this later I'm pulling it through and this is how it will look so yeah that's your shoulders that's the mane from the neck up to where your armhole will be and this is how the ribbon looks like so now you want to do a back piece which is basically almost identical there's just one difference so for the back you only want to do one row of shoulder piece which means that you need to do extra row for this bit so I had nine rows for the front panel and I have ten rows in total for this because we need the total amount of rows to be exactly the same so because we did two for the front we need to do extra row here so yeah it is identical identical to the front one but it just has one 
extra row and then only one shoulder. So you want to do that and then I'll show you how to join it together, then do ribbing for armholes and neck. Once you've got your both panels done, you want to lay them down right sides in. So this is my right side of the back panel and I have my front piece as well, which is wrong side up. And then you want to grab your needle and insert your yarn into it from one of the tails we left. And we want to join it along the shoulders, so you should have exactly the same number of stitches here. And what I usually do is I just align them together and join with my needle. You could slip stitch it with your hook if you prefer that. I feel for the chunky yarn and six millimeter hook, it's not gonna look that good as joined with needle. So this is what I prefer, but yeah. And I'm just going stitch by, uh, stitch by stitch until I reach the end. And then you want to hide this tail before you cut that off. Which is just basically like sewing, but if you go a couple of ways up and down just to make sure that that tail does not come undone and yeah I'm gonna finish it here and I will cut that off This is how it will look from the right side and then you want to repeat the same thing for your second shoulder just align it together sew it on and i'll show you what to do next ignore the tails i have here i'll hide them in later on but what you need to do next is to sew it along the sides so starting with the ribbing and going up till this point here, same for the other side and you can just grab your needle, some yarn and just sew it together. I wouldn't recommend doing it with your crochet hook because it might be too tight and when you try to put it right side up, it will be all squished. So yeah, I would recommend joining it with your needle. If anyone is interested how I did, I probably shouldn't be explaining how to sew because I'm not the best at it, but you really want to align the ribbing together and then all of the brows as well, which you can see here. And to sew it together, I have roughly one meter of yarn. I will start with this first stitch here leaving a bit of a tail which I will hide later and then what I like to do is just to go 
from the front, from my side, then from back, and so on into every single stitch. And it's easy where we have our stitches or initial chain because we can clearly see the stitches there so it's easier to align those together. And then when you reach actual rows here, I will be doing the same. It's just not gonna be the stitches. But yeah, as long as it's aligned, you should be okay. So just continue joining up to the point where your armhole is shaped. Hide it to tail in, repeat the same thing for another side, and then I'll see you for the collar and armhole part. And once you're done joining it all together, this is how it will look. I have it right side up, and I'll show you how to do ripping for the armhole and neck as well. So starting with armhole, you want to grab your hook and find this middle part where we join both panels together. Insert your hook into the very first stitch here and join your yarn. And chain five in total. Once you've got your chain, starting into the second one from your hook, make a single crochet and do single crochet in the next three. So you will have four single crochets. Then you want to make a slip stitch in the next two stitches. So I'm going into the first one here, again into the next one, chain one and turn your work. Now working into the back loops only, we will be doing single crochets. So remember that you have four stitches only, so that's one, two, three and four. So this is not the stitch you want to go in. And do single crochets into the back loops only. Then chain one, turn your work, then again do And once you turn your work, again do four single crochets into the back loop only. Then again, two slip stitches in the next two stitches. So there is one. And this might look like a stitch, but we've got four single crochets and this is just one of your slip stitches. And when you come back with the row, you don't want to go into that, or otherwise your ribbing will start increasing. So yeah, that's one slip stitch. Next one. Again, I'm gonna chain one. And yeah, these are your slip stitches, so you don't want to go into them. Skip it and straight away into the single crochet and you will be doing this all around your armhole so i've got four single crochets i'll chain one turn and i will be repeating those rows all around so yeah when you reach 
this part it's not stitches anymore it's where our double crochets side is so you still want to do two slip stitches so let me just do the row of those four back loop single crochets yeah and then where you can find a spot just put your hook in make a slip stitch do another one chain one and again four back loop single crochets chain one this is just a tail I have but yeah you will continue doing this all around until you come back to this point here so your row count will depend how big you've got this armhole here but just to make sure that you doing two slip stitches otherwise if you don't it will become so much wider and you really want your ribbing to be kind of scrunched up a bit so yeah make sure you do those two slip stitches when you reach this point then chain one to turn your, turn your work and continue doing those rows and when you finish all around you want to check if it's looking okay if it's not too wide mine's looking something like this but if yours gets wide just take a couple of rows off and try to do those slip stitches more far away from each other so it scrunches it up or you can also size down in your hook but once you're done you want to fold these right sides in so you have wrong side up and you can either sew it with needle or just go with slip stitches so I'm starting with the first one here and I'll do a slip stitch then again into second one and I'll do the same for each stitch so I should have four here you might have different number if you decided to do bigger or smaller ribbing but yeah at the end just chain one and I would recommend uh, finishing off with the long tail and this is because when you do those slip stitches there will be some gaps because these are not the stitches these are the sides of our rows so there are quite few holes here as you can see same for the other side so I would just recommend going with the needle and kind of just sewing it all together so it doesn't have all of those gaps so yeah and then you want to do the same for your next armhole and try to have same exact number of rows for my one uh, armhole ribbing i have 54 rows in total so i'll do the same for next and i'll show you how to do neck ribbing and once you're done with both of those ribbings you want to find your joining part for your neck hole just put your hook into the stitch close to the edge there and join your yarn color ribbing is going to be very similar to the arm part but yeah once you've got your yarn joined chain five and single crochet starting with the second chain And 
then exactly like we did for the arms, you want to go in and do two slip stitches. That's one, two, then chain one, turn your work and going into the back loops only. Ignore those two slip stitches there and yeah, do single crochets. So you probably already know how to do this but you want to repeat those rows until you go all around so yeah, i'm just gonna go in and i will see you at the end when i'm here And when you finish your ripping, you want to do the same exact thing, just fold them right sides in and do slip stitches along those single crochets. Chain one, this is how it will look. There is no need for a long tail this time, so just leave a bit to hide in. And we don't need the long tail because we mainly worked in the stitches here, so there is no major holes or anything like that. And at the end, it should look something like this. That's your back side and, and then the front. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you do have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I would appreciate if you could hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one.